Okay, question four. Let's, let's crack through these. Um, select the right values for the internal forces experienced by member A, B. So this is kind of uh, referencing back. And this wouldn't really happen in a real exam question because you'd be told what the reactions are. So um, looking back at our previous answer here, we've got that um, we've got a 20 and a 31.1. So 20 and a 31.1. <clears throat> so you'd actually be given that. You know. There would be no kind of follow on questions in that sense, if you, uh, in section A at least. So given those numbers, can you work out what the internal um, force is in member AB? So pause the video and see if you can do some calculations and figure it out. Right, so we have 20, 31.1 here, and we look at our triangle. So notice for our triangle, we've got six along the bottom, uh, four uh, going vertically. It's a disguised three, four, five triangle. So we've got a triangle like this, three meters, four meters, which means this is going to be five meters. Um, and I want an angle. I'll make this an angle theta. So using this angle theta, you can say certain things here. We can say, what is the cos? So cos theta is three over five. We can say, what's sine theta? Uh, we can say that's four over five, because the opposite. And now let's just jump right in and try and work out what that member is, AB. So we're doing a method of joints around this. So nice to draw uh, another free body diagram, force, oh, sorry, a force diagram. So we've got a 20, a, which is kind of the same as a free body diagram, 31. And this member we're going to cut, and we're going to call that AC. So we always point our internal forces away from the joints. And this member up here, we will call AB. This angle here is theta. So what we want to do is resolve forces straight upwards. And the reason for that is because then that means that takes out this AC. We did, we're not interested in that unknown. So we're going to resolve our forces. Bad gamma. Let's try again. Resolve our forces upwards. And so AB, I'm not swinging through theta, so that means that AB has to swing through not theta, it's committing a sin, so sine theta. So that's going upwards. Uh, 31 is going straight upwards, 31.1 is going straight upwards. So my AB is going to be, sine's very important here, minus 31.1 divided by sine theta. What is sine theta? Well, I don't need to put my, that into any of my calculator or anything. I know that sine theta is four divided by five. So minus 31 divided by four divided by five. And now uh, let's just stick that into your calculator, let your calculator do the work. Minus 31 divided by four divided by five. And we're going to get minus 38.75. Uh, that's kilonewtons. So does that match up with any of our answers? Um, not really. 
Okay, so I'm a bit out because I've rounded it down, haven't I? So it's actually, oh, you have to put in 131. Should have put in 31.1111. So let's do that. Okay, so that gives me 38 minus 38.8888, which I'll round up. So that gives me a nine. So yeah, so, okay, so be careful. I don't want truncation errors particularly. I can see I've got a minus 38.9 there and that because it's a minus, therefore I know it's in compression. So I'm gonna choose D. Hopefully you chose the same as me.